and stuff. It's a rare, you don't see these everywhere. Just start talking, Tom. This plant here is really strange, something I haven't seen before. I know what type of family it is, it's from the Loezacea family. It's called the stinging or electric shock plant. And these pumpkin-like flowers, absolutely amazing colours. But you'll also see the end of the flowers and <laughs> the leaves here have a lethal hair on them. And once you come in contact with it and brush it, it sticks into your skin, releasing a type of acid that gives you... A a little shock going into your body, small bit of voltage and a lot of pain. And in contact with cold water, the pain can reoccur for up to two to three weeks. In some species, up to three quarters of a year in pain can be observed in contact with moisture, sweating on the body, rain, having a shower, bath and so on. It's a climbing plant, as you can see, straggling around this um, interesting shrub here. I've got some seed to collect as well. Very unusual, you don't often see them. Very interactive. So how does it actually cause this, this pain? What, what's it, is it a toxin or...? It, it's basically a, a toxin, it, like a stinging nettle. It, it, it's, a, it's not a tannic acid like a stinging nettle releases. It'll only release that once it actually breaks off into your skin. You can brush past it and then not break it. Once they break off into your skin, and release this acid, or it's, it's not a tannic acid, but it's a type of acid, that's when the pain occurs, but it also induces, it's quite a kick, you get quite a kick from it. It's a couple of volts or something, nothing much, but you don't expect it, so it gives you quite a kick. And you want to collect seeds from this plant? I want to collect seeds from it, there's some good ripe seeds over here, just because it's something different. For the world garden, it'd be an interesting asset. It's not going to be hardy, it's going to be probably quite difficult to cultivate, but very interesting. And how are you going to collect seeds from this plant without getting... Pricked. Good point. <laughs> the seed on this end here, I'm going to get a plastic bag. It can't penetrate plastic. It can go through most things. It's not good at plastic, he says. You know this for sure? I'm not 100% sure. But <laughs> so we're, we're, we're putting the scientific method at work here. I'm folding up the plastic bag at least two or three times. This is, this is field research in action. Absolutely. Just turn it around. There, if we just show you. And they're, they're spiralingly green, they'll do. Cut them off and put them into the bag in a minute. There's some brown ones here. You see it's got a coiling system. I'm going to want to show you close up. Being Even the old fruits can still sting. It's got a coiling system it's got and that's a spring. So when that ripens it unfurls itself like a pea family at quite a reasonable speed. You can often hear them on a hot day go and the seed gets dispersed quite a long di di distance from the the parent plant, that's the whole idea, to get as far away from its parent as possible. Never seen this before, Paul. I've never seen a climbing, um, stinging plant before, but I recognise it instantly from the books I've read about it whilst growing up. It's a real kids thing, interactive for Lullingston. Kids will love this, behind a nice plastic box with air holes cut through. It'd be really interactive for the, well, one of the structures at home. Great stuff. <laughs>